Hey Virgo, welcome back to another reading. Thank you so much for clicking on. I'm bringing you another video to tell you about what the energy is, the energies are surrounding you and whatever messages Holy Spirit has for you today. I hope that everybody's doing really, really well. This is closer to my destiny's tea, but the tea is never too hot. I always serve it just right and with a multitude of love. All right, I missed you guys, and so I'm here to give you some more information. Hopefully, I can shine a light on some situations that you might be dealing with to help you out. All right, I hope you're doing really, really well. If you're not, allow my positive energy to help you feel a lot better, okay? High vibes, high vibes, high vibes. And thank you so, so much for sharing our videos and helping our channel supersede the expectations that I had. Like, thank you so much. Um, To all my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking this video, sharing these videos, and subscribing to our channel. We really, really appreciate you. Welcome to the family. All right, I'm charging our decks up with topaz and amethyst stones, okay? So, guys, I'm getting a lot of different vibrations. A lot of new people are watching, and I feel a lot of different energies. Some of you are happy. Some of you are really sad. Some of you are empowered and encouraged, okay? You're moving forward. I just saw the... Oh man, I just saw the mature man, one of my mature Virgos, and the relationship, the lovers, the relationship card went in reverse. So he is not happy about what's going on in a relationship, okay? A lot of my Virgos are in love and they're enjoying their loving relationships. Some of you guys met new people, okay? This year, this Christmas, you are not alone. So good for you, okay? All right, so let's hurry up and get started, guys. I don't want to talk too much, but I like connecting with you before I get the reading started. I love it, okay? Thank you for all your beautiful messages. Thank you for speaking out to me, letting me pour into you. I appreciate it. All right, thank you so much for your encouragement and your love. I feel your love. Thank you. All right, so let's get started, guys. Let me clear our energy. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you so much for coming into this reading, giving Virgo clear and concise messages. Thank you for allowing me to be a channel of love and light for the Virgos, helping them see clearly what's going on in the situations around them. Thank you for allowing me to be a channel so I can shine a light on their path to make their loads lighter and their paths a lot brighter we appreciate all you do in our lives seen and unseen thank you for the miraculous miracles you work on our behalf and on our family's behalf thank you so so much for your protection your guidance and your love thank you for blocking any negative energy entities witchcraft or wickedness that may try to come up against this channel or us in our daily lives all right thank you for feeding the hungry healing the sick and showing yourself mighty in somebody's life today. They didn't know you are the great I am. Amen, amen, and amen again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, and thank you for receiving my prayer and for receiving this cleansing of your energy, okay, and this dose of love. All right, divine spirits, ancestors, and spirit guides, holy angels, what messages do you want to give to Virgo today? What messages do we need them to know? What's going on in the energy around them? What do they need to know? For the Virgos, cross watchers are welcome. Welcome, spies. Anybody who wants to watch my videos are welcome. All I ask is that you be loving and respectful, okay? Thank you. Right? Courtship card. This could be a gathering. Somebody could be getting together. All right? Could be going out. All right? Thoughts. Somebody's thinking about somebody significant. Wow, coffin. Somebody's thinking about things being over. You could be gathering for a funeral. Somebody could have lost somebody, okay? You could be getting together, um, sharing memories, thinking about good times, okay? Um, and, and your thoughts a lot about this person. So I could have a mature male here, one of my male Virgos here, thinking about a relationship um, and when things were good. Thinking about getting together with somebody or when they did last get together with somebody, okay? You could be thinking about what was said, the things that were done, or good times from the past, but now it's over, okay? Or you could just be, you guys could be getting together um, 
after a funeral or something like that okay somebody has lost someone i feel that energy and um my condolences to you and your family okay i'm sending you love and light all right family room so you could be gathering at a home okay um right before the funeral or after the funeral or this could be just somebody who is thinking about their home okay thinking about maybe losing a home okay um, somebody else could be thinking about moving out of a home. This family room is empty. Holy Spirit, what else? Give me clear messages for the Virgos. So assist them on their head. All right. Thoughts. All right. The community card. So you might be getting condolences from the community. I see child on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Children may be significant. A child could be significant. A new beginning could also be significant. Okay. So somebody could be getting together. All right. Endings bring new beginnings. So let's just keep that in mind. All right. Let's see what else. Community. So the community could be watching. They could be hearing about this breakup. They could see what's going on. Okay. The gift card is here. All right. And it popped out in reverse. But somebody is about to be receiving a gift. All right. You could be receiving gifts regarding this loss. Okay. I really feel like somebody may have lost someone. Um, and you're receiving like food and cards and just things to help you feel better. All right. Um, could be having to move out of a home. Okay. And you got the community around you trying to give you support at this time of loss. Or it just could be you losing a marriage or your home because of a failed relationship okay occupation so occupations at the bottom of the deck somebody could be ending a job or getting um an advancement okay i'm getting that somebody may be getting the gift of a raise all right and you're going to get celebrated by the people around you in the workplace all right you may be able to move out of the community that you're in and move to a better place okay let's get some tarot to figure out what exactly this is trying to tell us all right i'm also getting the energy of Definitely a male who's thinking about the, their past relationship. Sorry, guys. Hold on one moment. Okay. Let's get finished. <laughs> Sorry about that. I always forget to put my turn my reader off. All right. So the courtship card. Let's see why the courtship is here. Now, as I was saying before... I definitely see a male man, uh, male here thinking about a loss, okay? I can see him thinking about the relationship being over and reminiscing on the good times, okay? Maybe really in your feelings right now, you have a lot on your mind and you're very overwhelmed with the thoughts about the ending of this house, the loss of a home, okay? Um, oh, I'm sorry about that. Let's see, courtship. So we have the Four of Swords. So you're definitely in your head contemplating and thinking about this relationship. All right. But I see here that you have an idea. You have something significant that you're trying to hold on to. It could be the home. Okay. Um, let's just see. Thoughts. What are these thoughts about? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, so the Virgo. Okay. Got Queen of Swords and she came out in reverse. So for my male Virgo that was thinking about this person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be significant or it just could be somebody that is um, standing up to you. They're letting you know how things go. They're standing in their power. They're not taking any crap. They don't want to talk about anything. It's their way. The Queen of Swords is usually just and fair, but this came out in reverse. So this person could have really let you have it. I'm going to leave her in reverse because she's not really that happy right now. And you could be thinking about this person having you all in your thoughts, all in your head about the last time you saw them and what was said and what happened. And it, I'm getting the strong feeling that it wasn't, it didn't go well at all. And this person was very um, stern, very brash. Um, probably using profanity and cussing you out, just letting you know where you can go and how to get there. Definitely the end of a commitment, the end of a relationship, the end of giving and receiving money, the end of investing in something, okay? Nine of Wands with the family room. So I am getting the Nine of Wands came in reverse, okay? Um, so you had to put your guards down or something like that when it came to this family room being empty, or you are you had to release it um instead of moving forward and being strong and winning the home i'm getting someone lost their home 
okay? That's what this signifies, the nine of wands in reverse. Not able to move forward confidently, being stopped in your tracks, okay? So let's see what else. Community, the community knows about this. Judgment, they're judging you on this situation. They're judging the situation. Just I'm getting people, family members, people that are close to you that may know about what you've been through, all right? And they're just being nosy at this time. They're all in your business, okay? They're, they're, they're doing what community does, okay? When something happens around you, you want to know what's going on. And it's not necessarily being nosy. You could be concerned. They could be just concerned, checking. They probably heard the arguing. They see what's going on. They know it's an ending. They probably see saw you. You know, this community knows something and they're calling judgment on this situation. Definitely the husband, the emperor. There you are, Virgo. Okay, male Virgo here that is not happy in this marriage. Your marriage is coming to an end. Okay, this queen of swords cussed you out. She was very rude to you. She was just being vindictive, manipulative, just not the person you married. Okay, and you are done with it. Like you're very pissed off. You're upset. I see you just not feeling well. And you could have been with this person since you were young. This person used to give you good feelings. You used to feel very happy. But now this person is a manipulator. We got the devil in reverse. This person is a manipulator. This person is a liar, a thief. Okay. This person left you hanging. They did, they did the worst. Okay. Whatever this person did to you for my male Virgos, it was not pleasant i'm gonna get another spread for other people that are watching this reading it got very personal for someone significant okay gift card here so if it doesn't resonate and you can't relate just don't worry um leave it for that person we have okay so you could have been receiving something and it wasn't necessarily good but it's something that you didn't expect it was a tower and betrayal when it came to this home situation. So you received a document or something indicating that you did not get to keep this home or you have to leave this home. You can't stay here. Look, you got you found out that it was over. Um, a Scorpio could be significant, but you feel betrayed. You feel backstabbed. Your whole world got turned upside down. All right. And let's see what this job is. When it came to working together, doing things fairly, this person did not do that. Occupation. Look at this. Eight of Cups in reverse. All right. So you didn't want to walk away. Eight of Cups in reverse. Hold on one second. Let me see. So you feel like in this matter with the Ace of Cups in reverse, I mean the Eight of Cups in reverse, you feel like when it came to working together, you thought this person would be fair and do you right, but you use poor judgment. You feel very bad about the situation. You feel like you're abandoned, like they just left you with nothing, okay? This person, whoever's in this situation losing this house feels like they stole it or they just left you and you got robbed out of a new beginning, okay? You, things were supposed to be going better. You guys are supposed to be working it out. Not even robbed of a new beginning, but I'm getting not a new beginning. I'm getting you feel very foolish. Some of my Virgos feel like things are supposed to work out, but when it came to you meeting this person and things going forward, this person bailed out on you at the last minute. Then I'm getting with some of my Virgos that you definitely ended this new beginning. But for the person who's this significant, who the male Virgo who's who lost their home, all right, I'm getting that you feel like a fool. You feel like a fool and you feel abandoned and you're stuck. You're trying to figure out what to do next. All right, you feel like you're unable to move forward. You can't get over this right now. It just feels you feel very stuck. And this energy of feeling like you definitely got deceived, you got backstabbed, you got mistreated, they did not do you right. And you are crying about this. You can't stop thinking about this. Queen of Swords, I mean, Queen of Cups in reverse, it could be a cancer that's significant also. Or this is just a mother figure, a mother figure that is um, your children's mother. And they are very unstable in their emotions. They're not showing you any love right now. Okay, I see that here. And you feel stuck in this situation when it comes to this marriage. All right. Wow. This was not what I was expecting. I don't know. Like, I'm still going to put it out because it's going to help somebody. Okay. All right. So let's just move forward. Let me just get a couple angel messages on this reading real quick just to see what the angels have to say about this. I really just want to scratch this whole reading and do another one. It's very personal for somebody, okay? 
I'm sure it probably can resonate with more than one person. Um, but somebody definitely is dealing with losing a home. Somebody could have lost a loved one, okay? Um, endings are just room for new beginnings, guys. And if you lost your loved one, remember you got a bigger, brighter angel watching over you now, okay? If you lost a home and a person, especially if they're treating you wrong and cussing you out and all that, like, and making your life hell, really, spirit had to bring this tower because you weren't leaving, you aren't getting the hint that you are going to be miserable if you stay in this situation, whether you invested in it, whether it's your family or whatever, all right? And that's when the tower moments come to help you out of these situations that you are hell-bent in staying in, hell-bent on staying in it, right? You're evolving and going through an amazing transformation, move forward in faith and confidence. So trust God at this, at this time. Trust your faith at this time. Trust in yourself at this time and all your gifts that you have in knowing how to rebuild, how to start over. Be strong. All right. You won't be left in the cold. Trust in the divine changes are coming rapidly. So you might think that this is it for you. You might be stuck feeling like you have nothing. Something is going to come through for you. You have to hold on and you have to believe. Okay. And for whoever lost a loved one and you're losing a home now because this person passed away and you're not going to be able to keep the home. Have faith. Be strong. Think about all the things that you can do to make this situation turn around in your favor. Okay, just just use your better judgment at this time. You have to pull yourself through. Okay, blessings come in because you didn't give up on your beliefs and you stood your ground when people mistreated you. You see that? Don't give up. Stay your ground and be firm. Be strong at this time. Okay. Wow, this is deep, guys. You can, you deserve so much better. Yes, you can. Make the necessary changes in your life to free yourself. Start today. So you can do this. Keep moving forward, okay? An uncovered blessing. Look at that. I told you an uncovered blessing. Finders keepers, new connections. Clear your energy for new love, new money, and new possibilities and opportunities. You're going to be fine, Virgo. Don't give up. I know this is hard as hell, okay? This is a trying time. I feel the energy is a very sad time, all right? You feel lost. You feel emptied out. Have faith in yourself. You cannot let yourself down. You came a very, very long way in your life, in your journey. Whether Just imagine this one thing didn't happen. How far have you come? Okay, you can't let this one thing in this particular circumstance determine your future and where you're going to be in the long run, okay? You have to be strong and pull yourself through. You have to believe in the divine and trust in the Holy Spirit that he is not going to leave you hanging, all right? You have angels all around you, all right? And trust that this these new angels that you have around you for the people who have lost someone, they got your back, okay? They work in the divine realm. They can do things that we can't do. Trust in the divine. Have faith, all right? God got you, okay? God has you, all right? And I love you so much. And if there was anything else that I could do to help besides give you these amazing messages to guide you through, I would, okay? But this definitely is a job for spirit. God got this and God has you. You have to remember in all things you trust. Be grateful for what you do have. Be thankful for what is working. And that opens the door for miraculous change and miracles. Don't forget that. Okay? Virgos. Oh, my gosh. I wish there was something else I could do. Okay, love. So, let me see what I can give you. I'm going to give you a chakra balancing card. And I'm going to close this particular reading out. And I'm going to do another one. Okay? Be strong. Stand firm. Everything is going to work out even when it seems like it doesn't. God always shows up right on time. You don't have to be a believer for him to believe in you and love you and bail you out. Okay? You could just not even know he was God all by himself. But when he does show up, you make sure you give thanks so you can stay blessed and covered. Make sure you give thanks now when you don't even know how you're going to get out. All right? That's what gets you through. Trust me on that. 
I wouldn't be here if I didn't know how to help you. I, I, I tell you that much because I'm a Virgo and I'm serious about my money and my well-being and my stability. And I would not be sacrificing right now. This is my job. I wouldn't be here if the divine didn't lead me. God didn't tell me to. And I know that it will help heal so many people. I wouldn't be here. So trust me on this. All right. Throat chakra. Setting boundaries. I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself. My integrity is supported when I express my thoughts and feelings. I am aware of excessively wanting to please others. I will maintain and grow my personal power by saying yes when I mean yes and saying no when I want to say no. All right, learn from this. Learn from feeling like a fool. Learn from feeling abandoned. Learn from letting somebody take everything that you work so hard for. You learn from this, all right? I speak up for myself. I set boundaries regarding other people's behavior. I do this by asking for what I want, such as respect, patience, tolerance, and support, rather than telling them what I don't want. Y'all know how people do. You tell people what you don't want, and for some reason, they try to do it. It's like, what's wrong with you? I just said I don't want that. Some people that don't have your best interest at heart, pay attention to these red flags. All right, divine intervention, crown chakra. I honor a higher power and I know that anything is possible. I let a higher power have more active presence in my life. I know that my life is divinely guided. It is. I surrender to this truth. Yes. I know that I am loved, guided, and protected by a higher source. Yes, you are. I am open to seeking guidance in my spiritual quest from a spiritual teacher, master, or guru. Yes. Grace. Crown chakra. The grace of a higher power is with me and I move through life knowing this. I believe in higher power and I know that it is within and around me offering assistance and guidance. Yes, God is. I surrender all my fears and I and burdens to a higher power and I'm open to receive grace and I trust in a higher power. I am worthy. Yes, 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 yes. And thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for intervening and letting Virgo and cross watchers and whoever is watching this video know that you are with them and you will never leave them nor forsake them. I love you to life. Make sure you share this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you like this video, okay? Receive this message with love. I love you and you can do this. You can get through this, okay? I'll talk to you in another one. Bye, Virgos.